October 25th. For they verily for a few days chastened us after their own pleasure. But he for our profit, that we might be partakers of his holiness. Hebrews 12, 10. Beloved reader, have you long asked for the removal of some secret, heavy, painful cross? Perhaps you are still urging your request, and yet the Lord seems not to answer you. And why? Because the request may not be in itself wise. Were he now to remove that cross, he may, in taking away the cross, close up a channel of mercy which you would never cease to regret. Oh, what secret and immense blessing may that painful cross be the means of conveying into your soul. Is it health you have long petitioned for? And it is the request denied you. It is wisdom that denies. It is love too, tender, unchangeable love to your soul that refuses a petition which a wise and gracious God knows. If granted, would not be for your real good and his glory. Do you not think that there is love and tenderness enough in the heart of Jesus to grant you what you desire and ten thousand times more? Did he see that it would promote your true holiness and happiness? Could he resist that request, that desire, that sigh, that tear, that beseeching look, if infinite wisdom did not guide him in all his dealings with your soul? Oh no, but he gives you an equivalent to the denied request. He gives you himself. Can he give you more? His grace sustains you. His arm supports you. His love soothes you. His spirit comforts you. And your chamber of solitude, though it may not be the scene of health and buoyance and joyousness, may yet be the secret place where a covenant God and Father puts his grace into your soul. Where Jesus seeks to meet you with the choicest unfoldings of his love. Could he not? Would he not heal you in a moment were it for your good? Then ask for a submissive spirit, a will swallowed up in God the Father's. And it may be, when the lesson of secret and filial submission is learned, so that health shall no longer be desired, but as a means of glorifying God, he may put forth his healing power and grant you your request. But forget not, the Lord best knows what will most promote his own glory. You may have thought that health of body would better enable you to glorify him. He may think that the chamber of solitude of the bed of languishing are most productive of glory to his name. The patience, resignation, meek submission, childlike acquiescence, which has blessed spirit through his means works in your soul may more glorify him than all the active graces that were ever wrought into exercise.